I had one particular Disney star, um, and he said, uh, hey, you know what we, we decided XD st stands for, right? And I went, what? And he goes, uh, Disney. Then he goes, so you need to go over there. And I was like, I don't give a fuck how good you sing. You, how dare you say that? All right, what's his name? Hutch, man. Yeah. First of all, like we talked about at the top of this, you have a new podcast coming out, the Zeke and Luther Dude, podcast. Zeke and Luther pod's coming out. If you don't know who Hutch is, I don't know how the hell you don't know who Hutch is because if you grew up watching Disney and you had a great childhood, you probably saw Zeke and Luther. Like, <laughs> I, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, that would be the hope. All right, so take me back for a minute. So sure. you wanted to start as Zeke and Luther. It was a mm -hmm. show on Disney Channel, huge show back in the day, like, by the way, our associate producer, Branson, yeah. is like obsessed. Obsessed? Obsessed, obsessed? No, Doug, trust me. Okay. He told me like three times a day, I'm so excited. Oh, and I'm like, shit. Oh, damn. Okay. Are hey, you I appreciate I appreciate that. Yeah, he was trying to play it cool when you came in. but no, Okay, he, he all right, got it, out. got it, okay. All right, so Hutch, yeah. bro, take me back. Zeke and Luther, how old were you when you landed the show? I was 15. 15. 15. We had, uh, by the way, if you didn't know, we had Devin Werkheiser on from Nes Declassified. That's awesome. Excellent. We had him on a while ago. He was also around the same age. What was that like, though? Because what was, like, you're 15 years old. Did you just always want to be an actor? Or was it just kind of a thing you fell into? Like, It was, yeah, it was something I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, since I was, I, I was in, uh, like, summer, like, what would be the, so not summer program like it was, uh, it was like it was summer like camp. summer camp right and my mom my mom said look i love you so much but if you think you're gonna be around the house all fucking day ah uh, doing shit for the all next summer, three right. months <laughs> it's not gonna happen and i went okay so then she she put me in this uh summer camp and they did a play every year word and word. the play they did was wizard of oz one uh. year and so what they would do is they play the movie on the v it was vhs at the time throwback so, right, so right. they would play it the vhs over and over again. Uh, and I'm going, I hate this fucking movie. <laughs> I said, I've never hated a movie more at this, but it's been like nine times it's yeah. played. So eventually they come up and go, hey, Hutch, you know, you're the only one who hasn't auditioned for anything. And I go, yeah. Because I hate the I don't like it. <laughs> and he, they go, well, we can't find someone who, who can play the cowardly line. So can you, can you at least try out for it? And I I'm can like, see that. Yeah, let me just imitate this fucking guy. <laughs> That I've seen now seventeen a million times, times right. and they were like, hey, you know, that was great. Yeah, you're cast. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah, you go, that, please. I thought the whole point was I just had to audition, and they were like, no, you got to do it. And, dude, I, I just loved it. I couldn't really? believe how much I fell in love with acting, and then from there, man, so I was in fifth grade yeah, when I decided yeah. I wanted to do it. So one of the things that some child actors talk about is, like, when you're a kid actor, your yeah. friends don't care that you're a kid actor, but, like, did your friends care that you were on – Zeke and Luther, because I would have been freaking out. So, well, because I left, I left when I was in. So in, in ninth grade, I had a teacher that said to me uh, at the time. So I booked it when I was in tenth grade. Got you right? right. But ninth grade, my English teacher said, "Look, bro, it's not going to happen. Acting or English? Acting. Oh, <laughs> in English. He was like, look, you're subpar at that. <laughs> but as far as the acting goes, he goes, it's it's not going to happen. Right. And I go, why not? He goes, one, you've got pimples all over your face. Oh. All right. Your hair is unkept. You know, you need to get your, your degree and then you can start to try to work on it later. And I was like, fuck you, dude. Yeah, I was right. like, fuck you. I was like, oh, man. So then 10th grade, I booked it. So then I went back to him and I was like, ha, ha, ha. You go, hello, right? Mr. Asshole. I was like, well, well, what's good, bitch? <laughs> right. And then um, so then I, I ended up uh, leaving in 10th mm. grade. Uh, and then but so then I had. Pretty much it was like summer school or like, yeah. you know, online program while right, I shot right. the show. Mm. But but my friends uh, loved it. They loved to go to Disneyland with me. Right. So wait, where were you? Were you you're from California? Born, yeah. Born and raised Los Angeles. You guys weren't living in. Oh, you wait. You were born and raised in born and L.A.? Raised in Los Angeles, man. Oh, sh what high school raised. did you go to? I went to uh, Samo High. Santa Monica oh, High School. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not from here, but like I always find it weird when people are like, I'm from L.A. I know. that's I, you, People are always like. Are you really? Just, they're like, are you sure about that? Right. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm prom <laughs> I've been here the whole the whole time. Right, yeah. right. All right. So that was your you, you auditioned for you know some shit that you had going on in school. You landed the role as Zeke and Luther. Yeah. What was that experience like though for somebody that was 15 and you went from being like a relative nobody at yeah. 15 to being one of the hottest young actors in the city? I was. I mean, look, I was so lucky to have the yeah. creators of like even stevens matt dearborn tom mm -hmm. burkhardt and fred savage directed the pilot and right. those three people 
are the reason why I, you know, I'm sitting here with you today yeah. because uh, everyone at Disney wasn't convinced even after I tested. They said, "Look, he's never shot anything." Yeah, right. No, and right. and Matt and Tom and Fred, they all filmed scenes at Matt Dearborn's house, ah, the creator of the show, yeah. to show the executives at Disney, and that's how like I looked. How you, ah, so I mean, I'm. It was phenomenal, and I I couldn't be more grateful. I wouldn't be sitting here with you, you know. So 15 years old, 15, 16 ish. When do the when do the ladies start coming in? Like, were you just like macking shorties back in the day? Because like, well, no. You because, go well. well yes. Hold no. on. No, because. <laughs> No, because when I started, okay, look, when I was in school, I was not, I was not the popular kid. What? It was not it. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't play any sports. Uh, I had a pretty shitty attitude about having to be there. <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't, it, it didn't vibe. I mean, later, yes, once the show came out, um, it definitely became because I'm like a every little bit girl loves Zeke back in the day, man. Like, I, I've been, I've been, uh, I was very lucky to to play the role I play, I played. <laughs> So yeah, it was it got a lot better, that's for sure. All right, uh, I mean, I know you're obviously you're cool with Daniel because y'all are doing the podcast Absolutely. together. Yeah. Or do you have any other like close relationships that you built from time you worked at Disney and on specifically on the show? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, well, Matt Dearborn, I just saw. Right. Um, I just actually did a table read for him mm -hmm. on a project he's doing, so I was oh, super shit. excited yeah. just to just to read something he wrote right, again. Right. It was amazing. Uh, I just saw Adam Hicks, so shout okay. out to Adam Hicks. Wait, can yeah. I ask? Yeah. Why is Adam Hicks not on? Because it's Zeke and Luther, and then does Zeke and Luther? So, hot. so that's a good. It's a good question. Yeah. Um, he's just he's very he's got a foundation right now. He's working with when it comes to uh, I think it's for it's with his music and uh, with rehabilitation for gotcha. for ex cons. And he's very he's just very much about uh, you know the, the charity work he's doing right now. Right, so there's no beef though. No God. The no. TikTokers man, God, they've been saying no. that y'all had beef because you weren't doing the pot with him. And then I go, why would they have beef? That's what I love is that I'm like we we hung out and and shot a video together and we're go we're we're hanging out to, we're having sushi tomorrow right and then everybody was like and everyone's like yeah beef. they made up right I'm like, <laughs> I'm like there's no beef okay <laughs> like look he's and by the way that's I, I I love Adam to death right you know right. I'm just so happy to see him doing so well yeah. And, you know, I respect it. I was like, he was like, look, a pod right now. Like, I'll come. He's going to come on. He's going to special oh, guest star on Okay. Oh, I love So that. that's why we were like, hey, can you come on for a couple? He goes, hell yeah, dude. Like, right. whenever the time comes, like, let's do it. I like But, that. you know, I, I I just support him fully, you know, and I just want him, you know, as if that's what he's doing right now, like, I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I want to talk about the Zeke and Luther pod, but I want to just talk about, like, child acting overall. Sure. Like, sure. You did it. You've been there. You've done that. Would yep. you recommend people be child actors? Because we always hear like mixed emotions. We had Alexa Nicholas on. Sure. And she was like, sure. no way. And I'm like, damn. Well, let's see. I think it all de it all depends on who you are. Got you. Uh, look, man, I, I've i struggled with depression and anxiety my entire damn life. Yeah. And when I started off on the show, I, I could have sworn that if I booked a big show and I got famous in some extent, right, right. that I'd, it'd fix everything. Is what you think? It didn't fix a damn thing. Okay, it was it was and and again, I was I was so grateful to be there, but I also was confused because right. you think, oh, you get money, you get you you know get notoriety, clout, you got right, fame you get now. some clout, yeah, right, right, right. You know, you, the prettier girls are talking to you, uh, right. Yeah. You're thinking <laughs> things should be good, and then you're sitting like in, in your bed at night, going, why do I still feel this kinda like kind of emptiness that's going yeah. on, this depression that's going on? So I I think it all depends on who you are. Why do you think so many child actors like struggle through life? Like once the the child acting stardom kind of phases away, why do you think so many people struggle? Like, is it for the reasons that you talked about? Like, it doesn't fix everything, or are there just like shit that happens? I think just because you know, look, I was I was fifteen when I booked the show, right. so I'd had a bit of a childhood. Yeah, yeah. I right. can't imagine if I if I'd booked it at ten or eleven, mm, and then right, maybe right. had kept working till I was eighteen or nineteen, because then you're just robbed of those very important yeah, years no. where you're supposed to just kick it with friends. You're supposed to be figuring out school, what you love to learn. Like, so I was lucky, but I still, I mean. Look, man, I still I went through the ringer for my for myself because afterwards I just didn't understand how I could have what I had and I was still feeling the way I felt. Not be, you know. When I was like 16, 17, I was like drinking, partying, doing all the crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Were y'all still doing the same shit and we just didn't know about it? Like, no, I started. Y'all have like a okay. So, I started after the show. So for like sixteen or fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, you were like straight. I was, like, I was a good guy. Okay, and then, and then I decided afterwards I was like, you know what, the times come. 
And everyone was like, this is a mistake. Uh, and I said, probably. And uh, I'm sober like seven and a half years. Right, now. right. Congratulations, thanks, bro. Man. Yeah, Thank of course, you. of course. But yeah, I, I went hard. The minute I, yeah, I, <laughs> the minute it was done, I, I went pretty hard. So like that whole like lifestyle of like being young and partying is just like mm. a thing in Hollywood. Do like, did the studios know y'all was out partying like that? Like, did people know that the kids be acting as crazy? Well, see, so I, so I don't, I knew a couple of people that were acting pretty crazy. I, right. so like I said, so the show finished and then I got my own place in Santa Monica oh, at 18. No. Oh. And that's when I started. Bad news, though. That's when it all went. That's really where I decided to, like, tip the dominoes for, you know what I yeah, mean? And right. start and the chain reaction. Shit, damn. So I waited till after, but I, I wish, I wish I'd, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, kept, you know, I, as a kid, you just, you don't really know uh, yourself that well. And so you're going to do shit you shouldn't yeah. have done. And right. then you kind of go, man, maybe I shouldn't have drank the whole fifth of vodka that was a bad move and then went out into the and streets. then went like, out and decided to walk around the promenade of no. santa monica man that was a bad is idea that you, is that what you did hell yeah what i dude i man i would just walk around santa monica just yeah, drunk and 18 years old i mean at 18 though know. no, it's kind of like a you you know it's and and i get but that's why anytime someone's ever going through something i go yeah. look look you can't tell someone what to do. Nah. You know, they're going to have to go through it. You know, like, I didn't get sober until I realized it just wasn't something I could do. Yeah. You know. That's, that's Yeah. Do you feel like, in retrospect, there was anything that you could have done or even, like, the people around you at the time that kind of, like, steer you away from that type of situation? Or was it just, you're 18, you're grown, but... So, so I have a great, so, so the story I have about that with my mom is I came in three in the morning. Mm -hmm. I just turned 18. Wow. Right. The show had just finished, just yeah. finished. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm still, I'm still living at home. Right. Right. And I come in at three in the morning and, uh, my mom goes, Hey, this is unacceptable. She goes, you can't, you can't stay out till three in the morning living here. And I'm I went 18. I went, right. I get you. I feel that I'm going to leave. And so I left at 18. Right. Because yeah. you're just like, you know, oh, I've, I've got money and oh, I've got this. And right, you know, this, right. this is why, like, I, I always say, you know, when they say, you know, you, you can't uh, wisdom is, mm -hmm. is priceless. Yeah. If I could just back to the future, this shit and just go back to 18 year old me and be like, I need to calm the fuck. Yeah, down. slap the shit out of you. Right yourself. now. <laughs> you better stop right now. <laughs> like, right. Like so. But, you know, yeah. So I left at 18 yeah. right away because I, I, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. Yeah. And you're not an adult at 18. I always say I'm that. Sorry. Man, like, it is what it is. Take it from like the most. I was so sure. Mm -hmm. I was like, And you had money, you had oh, fame. It's the, like, it's the worst combination in the history of the world. Money, it? fame, and legality. And, and legality yeah. and being 18 <laughs> and, and way too cocky and for yeah, sure of yourself. Oh, hey, yeah. uh, bro. Yeah. I'm surprised. So, I would have been, I don't know where I would be if I was rich and well, famous I'm saying, I'm just, at 18. I'm just happy to be here. Happy to you be know here. what I'm saying? <laughs> Dog. So there is, I want to talk to you about this. There's like a upcoming documentary that's dropping. Sure. It's called uh, Quiet on Set. It's about yeah. like Nickelodeon and the crazy things that happen to child mm. stars. Mm. Did you experience any of that working? I know you didn't work for Nickelodeon specifically, but did you experience any situations where you're I like, didn't. This is not cool. Um, I was really, really lucky. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, you know, my, my, my heart hurts for anybody that went through something like yeah. that, you know, and I'm glad that it's, it's coming to light. I'm glad that the awareness is, is going to be put out there. Right. You know, I was, but I, I was on, you know, I did Den Brother, the DCOM movie. I did mm -hmm. Zeke and Luther uh, for the three years. And then, you know, Ramona and Beezus, which was a, it was a studio film. Yeah. That was a lot of the stuff I did, you know, and then Sweet Life yeah, yeah, as yeah, well. So I sure. did, I, I was in, in the, in the business with, you know, the kid shows and all that stuff, right. but. I was always, I was really lucky. I worked with nothing but professionals. You credit that to like the people around you, your parents, or just like the Disney studio as a whole? Uh, yeah, my mom, my yeah. dad, they were pretty protective of me, That's you know, awesome. but they were, they didn't do the stage mom thing or, right, right, or stage right. dad thing, but they were like, hey, you know, they watched out for me, which I was I, I eternally grateful for, you know? Okay, I have a question. Sure. So we hear a lot of stuff about Nickelodeon, but I never hear anything about Disney. Okay. So my question is, does Disney just have like an ironclad NDA or does shit not go down? Like, because it Disney seems like none of the Disney kids ship. are, okay. They run a tight ship. So and it's to NDA then. It, no, no, it's not even the NDA. I mean, okay. for me, um, they were just, you know, when you, when you book a show on Disney, uh, they expect you to be a professional. They're hiring you on. They're going to invest millions of dollars. You're going to go through a machine that makes you more famous than most people mm -hmm. in a short amount of time. Right. They expect you to be a professional. And if you're not a professional, that's why you'll see certain shows. They go, you know, hey, why was it only one season? Mm. But somebody fucked up somewhere. Yeah. And some, you know, I, I remember there was a, uh, I can't, I won't say the, the, the show or the name, but I, I knew 
uh, a lead from another show and it got canceled after I think like midway through season two because he started acting like a a prima donna. He was like he was like I'm I'm the I'm the shit. And Disney said, "Oh yeah, is that what you think you are?" And then they shut the whole show down. Was this a Disney show? This was a Disney show. Was it airing? Same time, Zeke and Luther was there? I, I can't say. I'm not. Like, I've got to go fact checkers. No, no don't do the fact checking. I'm like, wait a second. No, I'm joking. The, I'm joking. We won't do that. The generalization here. <laughs> no, we don't do stuff like that. I swear. I swear. I'm not that bad. Um, but so you would say that like Disney did a decent job at like kind of keeping y'all absolutely safe. Yeah, for me, I yeah, I mean, they, they everyone that I worked with was fantastic, and I know you know some people will say, oh, you know. That's not true, you know. He something's not being said. I'm I'm being honest. Yeah. I really, if there was something, I would say it. But I really did, you know. And I'm I'm eternally grateful to uh, to Disney, man. I mean, they gave me my start. I hadn't booked, I hadn't shot anything. And the executives at Disney, yeah, they watched some of the scenes that we shot with the executive producers, but they didn't have to say yes. They could have gone, no, no. He's right. never shot anything before. So it's nothing like the Nickelodeon horror stories no, that you've been hearing about. Not at all. I respect that. Not at all. All right, I want to talk about. The Zeke and Luther pie, real quick. Okay, I like so. I'm freaking out because I like loves. I love Nez Declassified, so I'm okay. always like, anytime there's like a pod from like, and I watched Zeke and Luther too when I was sure, young, sure. so it's like anytime there's a chance to like regain that like nostalgic feeling and yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I'm like freaking out. So tell me one, how the idea came about? Like, were you just chilling at home? Was it something you saw Nez like the Nez team doing? And you were like, we can. You can do that. Uh, so, so Daniel Curtis Lee, yeah, Dan, Dan, one of my Curtis closest Lee. friends, who uh -huh. I'm doing, who I'm hosting the pod yep. with, uh, he called me when he was doing the Neds one, uh -huh. and we had shot a film together during the pandemic called "As Certain as Death." And we were just so, watching like the trailers and shit. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we directed that in five days during the pandemic, uh -huh. and so he was like, "Look, you got to come on and promote the movie." And I go, "Dude, I haven't done an interview mm. in six years." Yeah. I said, "I said I'm really not down for it. I've been right. eating pizza every day, <laughs> every day." <laughs> I'm like, "So I really don't want to come on." He goes, "I I understand. Right. You got to come on." Mm. Fuck. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll come on. I'll, you know, I'll come on. And I couldn't believe how much fun it was mm -hmm. just to catch up with Daniel and shoot the shit just, with Devin. Yeah, Nancy. right. And so then after that, Daniel goes, you know, we should talk about maybe doing one you and I. Right, right. And I went, yeah, I don't I don't know about all that. <laughs> I went, I don't know about it. So for like three months, I didn't, I kind of avoided him. And then, but why were you like, I don't know? Was it just because, like, you like, I've been out the game for a minute? Like, yeah, like, I just, you know, I was, it was so much fun to do that one, but I yeah. also, I, I always felt maybe that it was best just to stay private with my life and, and kind of, you know, but he was like, look, man, you, it, 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 we had so much fun mm -hmm. and telling the stories was so much fun and there's a right. lot more stories to be told. Yeah. He goes, you should do it. And so he really was the reason why I was interested in, in doing it. And yeah. that's why, you know, I'm I'm here now. So I, you know, big, big shout out to yeah. Daniel Curtis Lee. Shout out to Daniel Curtis yeah. Lee. I feel like a lot of us now we're at that point where we're like, we want things that like remind us of our childhoods and not really sure. like of our childhoods in a sense, but like one, like you said, people love hearing like those stories and shit like yeah. that. So it's like, what the hell happened behind the scenes? Sure. Or like, was Austin Butler, like, cool when he came on set? So it's, like, all yeah, those, totally. like, weird-ass things that, like, we as kids, we used to, like, watch sure. and see it all go down. So now I have a question about that. Okay. Go of ahead. all the, like, guest appearances that have been on, the people that we've seen come in and out of Zook and Lee. All right. Luther, all right. Who was your favorite, like, guest star that is now famous? You got a lot. There's a few of them. Man, there's a, yeah, there was a, there's a bunch. few of them. There were so yeah. many, fan, you know, one, again, a testament to the casting directors, testament to, right. to Matt and Tom, the way they cast. Shout out to Matt just, and Tom. They just, they really did just like cast some of the coolest, talented people. Like they saw um, it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna go with Austin Butler. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go with Austin Butler. So that was, that was, uh, he played this like crocodile Dundee type character. Yes. And he was the nicest guy. Oh, and even after the show was over, as mm -hmm. as he booked like uh, the Carry Diaries, mm -hmm. and he was killing the game. You know, yeah. we I'd see him at auditions, and he was lovely every years later, mm -hmm. five six years after the show ended, and I would see him, and we would sit and talk for like fifteen minutes after the audition, oh, and just up. shoot the shit. Like so, to me, just I I couldn't be happier for someone yeah. that's that nice, yeah, to yeah, be right. killing the game the way he is. So shout out to Austin Butler, he's just killing it. Opposing question: Who was the worst person that y'all had on? Oh shit! Oh boy. Well. Who was the worst? <sighs> was the worst person? Like the worst, the worst person? Like worst? Like how though? Like we ain't never having so and so on because they had a stinking attitude or couldn't remember their lines or <laughs> smelled bad. Like I don't know, dog. I'm just... Um, I, I let's not say worst because that always sounds bad. Who's yeah, yeah. your least favorite? 
my least favorite. Yes. Um, there was a girl uh, that was on in the first few episodes of the show. I'm not going to say her name, but okay. a- anyone that knows the show will know probably who I'm talking about. Fact checkers. Um, fact checkers. So go go check it out. I'm pretty sure <laughs> you'll know who this is. I know it for sure. Um, and she was just, you know, she she uh, was kind of full of herself from the mm. get go. Yeah. And there was like no reason for it. Right. You know what I mean? Like I have no problem if you have an ego, but you better be able to back that shit up. Okay. You better have a okay. resume. Right. It, you know what I mean? Like, mm. if someone comes up and goes, I'm the shit, and I go, well, why? And they say nine things mm. that I like, I go, go. okay. okay. I, I don't think, you didn't have to tell me that it. you thought you were the shit, but, like, you didn't, but I appreciate it. Like, you right, got right. stuff behind it. Uh, this this girl had nothing Damn. going to, to really make that the case. Mm. So I would always just be so mad with her because she'd be like, you know, I just feel like I should have a bigger part. I'm like, according to what? According to no skills, I was like, "What?" Like, I'm like, "I'm like, you're subpar at best." Oh, like, I feel be that. real. So, I, I think you know who I'm talking about. I think he he's got to know. Oh so, shit! All it was right. in the first season. That's our associate producer, Branson. Yeah. Hello, Branson. Um. All right. I want to talk about some of the things you did after Zeke and Luther. Sure. Uh. So you did Ramona and Beezus. I did. Oh, first of all, I did. I was digging a day, so I did some creeping. I didn't know you and Selena Gomez was cool like that. She's awesome. How did y'all, was it just because y'all were in the Disney space when y'all were kids? So then when you got the, I know you said you hit her up after you landed the role yeah. on, on the Beezus, but like, yeah. were y'all like, y'all were like friends, friends. Because we, met, cool we met during the, uh, you know, the Disney's friend Disney, for change and like a lot of this, the promo stuff, a lot of the Disney kids got right, together. Right. And, you know, we were Disney XD. Mm-hmm. So not every Disney kid was super nice to us. Uh, okay, they were like, they were like, look, we're Disney Channel, you're Disney XD. So if right. y'all don't know, there was like Disney Channel, yeah, and then there was Disney Channel XD, and I think there was another, wasn't there? Another there was like another one, like there was, yeah, there was some other yeah, one. Yeah, there were just like these Disney sub channels, but they were just as popping though. You, like, you want to, you want to know? Yeah, I had, I had one, I had one particular Disney star, um, and he said, uh, "Hey, you know what we we decided XD st- stands for." Right, and I went, what? And he goes, uh, Exile Disney. Damn. And he goes, so you need to go over there. And I was like, I don't give a fuck how good you sing. Damn. You, How dare you say that? He called y'all the Android Disney? He pretty much said we were the <laughs> Android Disney. He was like, he's like, no no iPhones over here. You oh, go over shit. there. Okay, yeah, okay. Green Bubble text messaging is over there. All right, what's his name? It was one of the Jonas Brothers. I'm not going to say which one. I'm not gonna say which one. I can't do it. Okay, is it the oldest or the youngest? I can't. I answered up. I'm not not a, no because immediately when I do that, it, it, you can li- eliminate it so quickly. But he just look, look. He he thought he was being funny. Wow. And I didn't think he was funny. Damn. And so I was just like, okay, all right. You know, that's Damn. that's fine. That's Hurts fine. my heart, man. Oh, you know what? But that's all right. You know what? Because I love the other two. So now now that I've said that again, I speak in generalizations. And I try not to give any hints. So you like Kevin and Nick? No, I'm not saying a thing. No, you know, so not a so you not, not a damn you word. I'm like not Nick saying and a Joe? thing. No, I can't say anything. That's I gotta keep that All right. completely. All right, let me get out of here. <laughs> All right, so uh, do, I want to ask though, though, genuine like an honest question. You were a man, and I'm not just saying this because you're here. Like after you did Ramona and Beezus, sure. it seemed like Hutch Daniel was like the next like leading dude you had everything going for you sure. you caucasian you're good looking <laughs> Am I like, you know what i'm saying now you can act like what what happened was it like just life that kind of derailed and i don't even want to say derail but i sure. feel like you did a few things but i dude you were like the shit back in the day i appreciate it man no i honestly it's it's kind of like what we talked about before which was um you know, after the show was done, I did White Collar, which was uh, so right. so. It was a big show at the time, mm. and then I finished. And you know, I'd I'd, I'd worked for like four years. Yeah. You know, nine months out of the year, three months was mm-hmm. promos, and I felt a little burnt out. And then, I really, man, I mean, I just this is such a it's such a cliche thing to say, but I think it, it's cliche because it's probably happened to so many people. Right. But, right. Uh, you know, man, I was a I was an alcoholic, man, and yeah. I just I just I I turned to alcohol and drugs to feel better because mm. nothing else I'd done had made me feel better, and I thought right. that alcohol and drugs would, and uh, it just my priorities just weren't in the right place, you know, yeah. and I didn't care as much about auditions or my craft or how I looked, yeah. and you know that's really what didn't. I I think the only reason you know I'm seven and a half years sober now. That's why in the last few years I've actually been doing movies and things right, and right. getting better, you yeah. know, so. I'm grateful to sobriety, but I'm also grateful that time because, you know, 
I'm lucky that it didn't. It, it could have been so much worse for me. Yeah, no, you know, sure, yeah. it could have been worse. So yeah, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm so happy, dude, with yeah. just how how the career has been, and right. I'm just excited, you know. The twenties were 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 hard. Getting sober and all that stuff that was tough. Twenties. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't care what anybody says. People are like, twenties are good. I'm like, terrible twenties. Honestly, even outside terrible of that, twenties is just horrible. I don't care what anybody says. All around. All right, like, I had to learn how to pay an electric bill and a, and a water bill. Make your own okay. doctor's appointment. I was like, like okay, first off, I didn't even know how to cook until exactly. a couple years ago. Okay, <laughs> so no, I feel like, yeah, man, yeah. All right, so you kind of like kind of like one of those things where it's like. Unfortunately, you had to go through the situation. But yeah, kind of looking at it now. You're Absolutely, kind of yeah. Of it. And, you know. Other creative things that you got going on, bro. You paint? I do. What the hell? Yes. Were you always painting, or is it just like no, no? Okay. I, 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 man, I have a friend of mine named uh, 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 Matt Shapira, who I did a couple movies with. Got you, all right. um, behind the walls, disappearance, and he always painted. Yeah, and so I would hang out at his house, mm-hmm. and I was just a. You know, again, you're getting sober, you know, first couple of years, you're a pretty angry guy. Yeah. And uh, I remember just kind of going, I don't know what to do. And he goes, why don't you paint with me? Mm. And I go, why the fuck would I do that? Hell, would I waste my time I go, time why painting? would I do that? Okay? <laughs> you think that's going to make me happy? And he right. goes, nothing's making you happy. So, I mean, you might as well try out yeah, painting. Yeah. And so I tried it out, and I couldn't believe, again, it's like that same thing. I was like, Wow. I yeah. can't believe how much I love this and it was right. therapeutic. And then I started painting mm-hmm. and then I started posting it because I wasn't I wasn't acting at the time, really. I wasn't doing a lot. Yeah, so yeah. I just started posting the art and it turned into a, a full fledged business, man. Okay. All right. I like yeah, that, I've though. sold uh, over a thousand pieces. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. I want to ask two questions and I always be pocket watching and y'all always be judging me in the comments for minding people's business. But okay. were you making bank and royalties from your acting experiences? And like, how were you, how you been supporting yourself in like this time, you know, cause you're. The, the art has been huge. Oh, that's what's um, like, yeah. So, so depending on the month, I, you know, I can make, I, if, depending on which pieces I sell, I, I sell all over the world. So I yeah. just shipped a piece to um, Italy. Oh, word. So, that's yeah, awesome, a man. big piece too. So it costs yeah. like $400 to ship. Oh, word. Yeah. Um, but. You know, my my art will run anywhere from from three hundred, five hundred for smaller pieces up to a thousand or fifteen hundred if they're oh, bigger. Yeah. So I've been making uh make my money that way, and then I also uh, I coach one on one and teach. Oh, word! So okay. I, I teach acting, uh, and I have a few students who I've worked with for years. Yeah, that we work with every year. I All right, every month. I got a few more questions. Yeah, your acting experience, and you you not only have you been acting, but you've kind of been in the realm of. Producing, yeah. directing, mm-hmm. writing. How did was that something you always assumed you would do, or is it just kind of another level of your creativity? Like it's the same with everything, because I'm such a I don't know, you know. I, I'm sure I don't I hope I hope it's coming off better than I, than it. But I'm just I get I've been such a negative fuck really? before. You know what I mean? <laughs> that like I would never think that I would do most things. I would yeah, be like, no, yeah. I'm just gonna be an actor. I'm right, just right. gonna just gonna paint. You know, I never thought about being able to do multiple things. Mm-hmm. And so when the pandemic hit, I just, you know, like everybody I'm sure was losing their mind. And I was like, I want to do something creative. Mm-hmm. And so I was talking to David Lambert, who ends yeah. up starring in the movie with, uh-huh. with us, uh, and Daniel. And I was like, we got to do something. Right, right. And he was like, well, you know, how much money do you want to put in the movie? And I'd saved up some money. Right, yeah. So I was like, let's, let's fund the movie ourselves. Let's get it done. And so we funded it. We made the whole movie for 30 grand. It's crazy. Shot in five days. We were like, and, yo, this is like a studio. We were, I don't, look, here's here's the deal. It's shit, that shit right. is good. I, whew, IMDb would, would disagree with you. Okay, oh. now look, here's the thing. Now, I made the mistake <laughs> of, it's, it is a drama for an hour long. It's a, about addiction and about mm-hmm. friends and about trying to figure out, you know, half the, half the group thinks addiction is just a mindset. Other right, people right. think it's actually a disease. And then it becomes a horror because the idea I had was, I said, what if, you know, people went, to in a secluded place, they were really trying to, you know, make themselves better. Right. And then a a an evil, an evil a, a person mm-hmm. just comes into the mix and just ruins it. Oh, right. That was yeah. the idea uh-huh. I had. So it was supposed to be an abrupt change in tone, but we marketed it as a horror. And then, so for the first hour, dude, every yes. review and they're is like, like, "What the fuck, you <laughs> bitch." <laughs> there is not one ounce of horror in this first hour. What am I doing here? And, and I go, the- "Right." Right. I I just thought maybe it would be better marketed as a horror. You know, uh, I didn't know which one to market it as. So, any, but if, I'm, I'm really proud of it. And, yeah, yeah nah. really proud. Is there anybody that you asked to be on the movie, be a part of the movie that was like, no? Because there was a bunch of like, 
former child stars there. And we were like, oh, this you know is what? cool. Like, um, no, there wasn't anyone uh, because when I got Daniel, Daniel was cast immediately. Yeah, right. And then David, who I talked to about it too, he was cast. Right. And then uh, Courtney Palm, who I'd worked with in Zombievers, mm-hmm. shout out to mm-hmm. Courtney Palm. Yep. Uh, she came in as the lead. And then I said, who's going to be Courtney's uh, character's sister? Mm-hmm. And Daniel goes, I could hit up Lindsay Shaw. And I go, that would be amazing. Amazing. I'm yeah, like, please, right. uh-huh. please. And then, you know, we had a FaceTime call and, and she said yes. And, it was, I hadn't written the character like her at all, and she brought such a dynamic yeah. presence to the film. Yeah, Lindsay. So, amazing. she's yeah. amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. Let people know, you don't have a, do you have a definite date for when the Zeke and Luther pod will be dropping? I don't. I can, yeah. I can so here's what I can say. I, pr- I can promise that it will be mid-April. Okay. I, so, it's either going to be the 14th, 15th, 17th. 18th. <laughs> Somewhere uh, in between. Right. Somewhere in that week. <laughs> just, you know, mark mark the whole week if you can. All right. You know? I will be waiting, man. Yeah, man. Don't don't leave us hanging on too long. I, pr- I promise. No, no, it's it's happening soon. By the way, dog, I will tell you, I don't know what shit you've been through in your life earlier, but you have a really positive energy, bro. Thanks, so. man. I don't know where that negative shit's coming from. Oh, dude. oh, that's Did I miss it? Oh, here's so Oh, so, we glad we got so you. So the down, reason man. why no, no, because because <laughs> I learned a long time ago. So when I when I first like when I was a young kid, yeah. right? I was the kid that like, you know, if you went out to dinner and I was in a bad mood, right. I'd fuck up the whole dinner for, for everybody. 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 And everyone would be like, can you just put a smile on? Yeah. Like, right. And I was like, no, I can't. This is me. This is who I am. And people were like, this you suck. Yeah, you can't be like that. You can't be like this fuck? all the time. <laughs> Nobody wants to be around you. Yeah. So I I I kind of, you know, I've always utilized uh, uh you know, humor with my pessimism. Right. You know what I mean? I want to make people laugh. Like if I'm having a bad day, I'd rather somebody else at least yeah. laugh with yeah. me about it, you know? Yeah. So I appreciate that. I'm glad I'm glad at least it comes across. See, man, using your powers for good. Yeah. I man. appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Hutch Dano. The Zeke and Luther Pie will be dropping sometime in April. Mid-April. Some mid-April. mid-April. Sometime right. between April 15th and April 30th. That's right. Allegedly. And anywhere in that time, you know, mark the calendar. Hutch, man, thanks a lot for joining us, Thank bro. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it.